Once you're happy with the artwork, you'll then go to File and then all the way down to Cutting Master 4, which is the plugin for Illustrator and Coral Draw. And we need to put registration marks on because we need to be able to line the print job up with the cutter. Generally, it's all default settings, but as you can see, there's quite a few different uh, options in here. But normally, for a standard print and cut, it's just OK. And then you can see it's put the four registration marks in each corner. And then all we need to do is then save that file as an EPS and it can go into any RIP manufacturer, but we're just going to save it directly into Onyx. So it goes straight into the hot folder for Thrive. So you can load the, uh, the job into the cutter either at any orientation because you can change it in the software. Once you've got it lined up with the pinch rollers, it's the most important thing to do is to make sure that it's in square. So if you put your thumb or your finger over the registration mark and then feel underneath the cutter something on the platen, so then you know you're in square to the cutter. Then it's best to load it as a sheet because then it'll measure the X and the Y. And then all you need to do then is position the blade holder with inside your first registration mark. You don't need to press origin or enter, just put it in that position. Once I've sent the job to the cutter, it will find the first registration mark and then find the remaining three for the first part of the file. So that's finished cutting the three copies of the job we've sent. So now we're just going to feed it forward. And from within the software, you can put a weed border on, which is quite easy and a nice uh, feature. And we're just going to peel that back now. And what should be left is where the items have been cut. 